Good morning, Smith Station High School. I'm Brandi Ford, and this is PNN. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. If you're interested in trying out for the drilling team for the 2016-2017 school year, there will be a mandatory parent meeting February 4th in the Media Center at 630 Eastern Standard Time. See Coach Fisher for any questions. Scholarship applications for Southern Union and CVCC are available in Mrs. Scott's office. March 1st, 2016 is the deadline for submission of the applications. You must have applied to college before submitting a scholarship application. If you are a junior or a senior and you're interested in taking the test ASVAB, you need to stop by the counselor's office. The due date is January the 21st. The boys and girls track and field teams are doing a Super Bowl Boston butt sale. If you would like, if you would like one, see any track athlete or coach. The cost is $25 and the money is due by January 27th. Game Changers will meet every Monday and Friday at 815 in Coach Sykes' room. Everyone is welcome and don't worry about being late. Students who are in Mr. Mike's 12th grade homeroom, you will now be reporting to Coach Fisher's room for the remainder of the year. If you were originally in Coach Fisher's homeroom, you will now be reporting to room 104A. Today for lunch is a pepperoni hot pot or a turkey and cheese sub or the baked potato bar, and your sides are garden salad, french fries, or pineapples. Here's a story on our art classes here. Walking through the hallway, you might have noticed the George Washington mural that Mr. Weathers' class painted. Well, they are now proud to announce their newest mural, Vincent Van Gogh's Irises. The Visual Art One students painted this. There are 64 canvases that make up the mural, and each student was given a random 1 inch by 1 2 8 inch piece of artwork and had to reproduce what they saw on the 8 by 10 canvas. The artwork is truly a great achievement, and we're proud to be hanging it in our hallway. If you have time, be sure to stop by Mr. Weathers' class and congratulate them on their newest piece of art. This has been Jacob Prather, PNN. Back to you in the studio. Here's your high school sports. A shout out to the Pantherette team for taking home first place at their competition in Georgia this weekend. And a huge congratulations to the Lady Panthers basketball team for bringing home a victory against Central at their own place on Friday night, 46-43. to This semester, PNN starting something special. Each week, we will highlight a spring athlete who's done something exceptionally well for their team during one of their games. This week, we chose none other than the Quan Holton, who helped lead her team to a victory on Friday night at Central. Quan ended up with 21 points and 8 rebounds, and PNN got a chance to catch up with her and learn a little bit about her basketball past and what she plans to do with her future. I started playing basketball when I was like four years old, and then my parents sent me away to a basketball camp for like five weeks, and I stayed with my grandparents. And when I came back, I started playing upward when I was in kindergarten, K through six. I met Coach Sykes and Coach Jordan, and they moved me up. And I started playing varsity basketball when I was in seventh grade. And I was nervous. <laughs> and I asked them to get moved back down. But I stayed with it. Coach Sykes and Coach Jordan was there with me for the whole way. At Central Game last Friday night, I was really nervous going in there. I never be central at their place ever. Actually, never been done. And our goal was to keep central off the boards and keep a up tempo game. It felt good to come out with the win because I mean this our area and we have goals. Our team goal is to make playoffs and to win the area championship and host the area at our house. That was a look at this past week of Spensation Athletics, and here's Kendall Long with a preview of this weekend. I'm Megan Johnson, and have a great day, Smith Station. Thanks, Megan. The wrestlers will be having their annual wrestling tournament today and tomorrow here at Smith Station's gym. We ask for everybody to come out and support your wrestling team. Also, both basketball teams will be traveling to Auburn tonight for the area game. Next Friday, we will be hosting Central. We ask for the jungle and everybody else to come out and support your basketball team. This has been Kendall Long with your high school sports, PNN. Here's your vines for this week. I'm Lionel Boyce, I'm 10 years old, and this is my highlight tape. I really like you. Well, you're like a brother to me. Wait, what? Ah, where am I? Friend zone. Yeah.
your word is independent. Oh boy. You walk past your friend in class. Chelsea, behind you. <laughs> if you ain't talking money, I don't want to talk. Now here's Stephanie with a reminder of how to stay healthy this season. With students coming back from winter break, there are lots of viruses running around the school. It's important to remember that no matter where you are, proper sanitation should be applied at all times. Staying healthy means not missing school, which in return keeps you from taking your exams. So remember to use Germex. Lots of Germex. Now, here's the MLK edition of Jaywalking. When is Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday? Um, I'm guessing March 16th. Um, wouldn't that be... It's February 14th. In May? Can you recite part of his I Have a Dream speech? I have a dream. I have a dream. I have a dream that one day black, little black and white girls and little black and white boys will walk together hand in hand. Something like that. What is Martin Luther King Jr.'s middle name? Um, I, um, I, is it MLK? What's Martin Luther King Jr.'s middle name? Um, Luther? <laughs> Wrong. That's all we have for you today. Have a great day, Smith Station.